The MX-5 RF Club Edition may be the most good-looking and most capable sports car you could get for under 3 million pesos. But to some people, it looks seem a little bit on the tame side. So what do you do if you want to add spice to your already good-looking MX-5 RF Club Edition? Why? You slap on a rocket bunny kit, of course, plus a few extra goodies that would complete the look. And that's exactly what we have here. This is a fully built Rocket Bunny MX-5 RF Club Edition, and today, we're going to drive it. Let's do this! When the owner of this MX-5 RF decided to modify his car, getting the stock body kit from Mazda was the furthest thing on his mind. The man has a taste for wild, eye-catching mods, and you can't get any more eye-catching than this. Unless you wrap the car in purple, which he already did for his other cars. But for this video, we will focus on this awesome-looking MX-5 RF. This car was built by the skilled mechanics of car porn racing, and if you want to see the build process, the build video, I'll put the link in the description below. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is the body kit itself. Panda makes some of the wildest kits in the aftermarket, and the Rocket Bunny kit, it's way up there when it comes to wild. Famed Aero superstar Kei Miura designed the Rocket Bunny kit to be as eye-catching as possible, and you cannot get any more eye-catching than this. When you look at it from the front, you'll see that it looks like a Cobra that's ready to pounce. It's got these wide, bulging over fenders here that required some fender cutting in order to put it in place. Now, that was a bit painful to watch when I watched the, the build video of this car, but it's a necessary thing to do in order to achieve this beautiful look. You'll also notice that these over fenders here, these wide fenders, are put in place by rivets instead of being uh, glued and uh, molded into place. That's because K Miura wanted the Rocket Bunny kit to be as strong and as durable as it is beautiful. Now, if you look at the front grille, the owner also installed his very own uh, Carbon Miata front grille with these LED fog lights, which adds a bit more aesthetic uh, look to the front and also some functionality as well because of those LED fog lights. Now, when you turn to the side of this MX-5 RF, you'll see that the Rocket Bunny kit sports these functional air vents here, which serves to cool down your brakes by letting hot air out. Now, you also see that it's riding on these gorgeous wheels. They're made by Work Japan, and these are not wheels that you could just buy from an online catalog of Work Wheels. Instead, these are fully customized, one-off wheels that's built to the specification, size, and color that the owner wanted. They're still 17 inches though, but we have a staggered setup wherein the front wheels are 7.5 inches in width, while the rear wheels are 9 inches and they look absolutely stunning. The fitment is also perfect, it's great, and as I mentioned, these are not riding on air suspension. This RF comes with KW coilovers, so that's a pretty static ride. Now, you also get these Willwood BBKs up front because the local MX-5 RF Club Editions don't get the Brembo brake package that the other markets get. Now, the Rocket Bunny kit doesn't come with a rear spoiler, so it's up to the owner what kind of rear spoiler he'll install in his MX-5 RF. Now, he didn't really want to be part of the big Wang gang, so he decided to offer this more subtle-looking auto exit rear spoiler that came straight from Japan. You'll also notice that it also has this uh, Borla exhaust system, which sounds like this. <laughs> Now that sounds really good. So let's go over to the front guys, see what kind of modifications this engine has. Now since this is a fairly new car, this is not even two years old at the time of the shooting, the engine is still a stock uh, MX-5 ND2 engine, which sports 184 horsepower and around 200 newton meters of torque. Now, I wouldn't really be surprised guys if the owner of this wild MX-5 would be plunking down an actual V8 sometime in the near future to modify this engine. So let's head over to the interior and see what kind of mods we'll find there. All right. Okay, hmm, looks like we need a little bit more light. Hold on. Yeah, as you can see, despite the wildness of the exterior modifications done to this MX-5 RF, the retractable fastback still operates as it should, which means it should take around 12-13 seconds to put the top down. 
there you go now as wild as the exterior mods are the interior modification is a little bit on the restrained side you get this uh, carbon miata floor mats here in this napa brown leather you also get a carbon fiber door sill there and you also get a craven speed door bushing now, other than that there's really no other modifications done here in the interior but you do get this um, rf club edition specific recaro seats which are really gorgeous i really love these seats and you also get this automatic transmission because all rf club editions in the philippines come only in automatic there's really no manual for the rf club edition now anyway enough of blabbering about the interior mods let's now go take this rf out for a drive just to see if all of those exterior mods would somehow affect the driving experience of this mx5 rf Alright guys, so we're now behind the wheel of the RF and as much as I want to put the top down, it started to drizzle a little bit so I'm just gonna have to keep the top up. It's a bit of a rainy season here already in Manila. So well, I'm not really in Manila, I'm outside of Manila. But anyway guys, so in terms of acceleration, there you go, woo! You got the usual acceleration that you'd come to expect when it comes to the MX-5 RF Club Edition. It does have a little bit more horses than the ND1 that I drive. So yeah, in terms of acceleration, it's pretty, pretty much the same as a regular uh, MX-5 that's, uh, that has the operated engine. Not really, uh, not really mind-blowing, but it's still peppy, it's still there. Now you'd expect that since this baby has the Rocket Bunny kit, that in terms of handling, it might uh, be a little bit on the heavier side, but surprisingly, it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like I'm driving a heavy car. It still drives and feels like a regular Miata. And that's quite a bit of a surprise given the amount of modifications that's been done to this car. Now when it comes to steering feel, this MX-5 RF has that really nice uh, work wheels. And it does have a little bit of heft in the steering. It's, uh, it doesn't feel as an aesthetic as a stock MX-5. So maybe it's because of the chunkier tires that have been uh, fitted into this car. So there's a little bit more feedback. And I love the fact that you know, the, the, road, uh, the road gets transmitted well to you when you're driving this car. When you're going around the curves like this, like what we're doing now, you could feel a good amount of grip at the rear end and that's mainly because you've got your 9 inch wheels at the back. So you got a bit more traction at the back and that should also help you when it comes to high speed uh, freeway uh, stability. The surprising thing about this though is despite the wide wheels that you've got and the fact that you ha you're running a wide body kit, in terms of wheel rubbing, you don't really get much wheel rubbing issues in this MX-5. You do get a little bit of rubbing at full lock when you're turning to the left, but I don't get that when I'm turning to the right. So the way that the camber uh, has been adjusted for this car is uh, pretty great. It's decent because you don't really get too much wheel rubbing issues, which is normally a thing when you're sporting a wide body kit and you've got wheels that are really sticking out outside of what the body line uh, where the body line should be. Woo, let's accelerate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! It accelerates as well as any automatic RF would accelerate. It's decent, not supercar territory, but it still gives you a lot of smiles on your face. Now when it comes to braking, this RF is outfitted with a Wellwood Big Brake Kit, so it could stop much better than a regular uh, Miata that has the stock brakes, which like my car has. I only have the stock pads, so this one stops much better than my than a stock Miata. The thing is, it doesn't really need that uh, big brake, that much of a brake, because it doesn't really have that much horses. It only has 182 horsepower, so you don't really need much stopping power in this car. So the way that the owner outfitted this with a big brake kit, it's already telling me that he has some engine modifications planned for the future. Yep. 
fantastic. You know, I would have expected that given all the wild modifications that's been done to this car, I would have expected that it would ride so differently from a regular Miata. But I'm really surprised that it still handles like a regular Miata, it still drives like a regular Miata, and it still feels like a regular Miata. Of course, you look really badass from the outside. There you go. We get that rubbing issue again on the left side, when you're turning left. Not really that bad, but it's there. There are a lot of cars that have been heavily modified like this that are really mostly like uh, Instagram cars only. They're really like show cars. They don't really get to drive well or drive fast, but that's not the case when it comes to this MX-5 RF. This is fully kitted out in the outside. It, it looks really badass, but it doesn't, it's not a garage queen. It's not like a show car that you could only do like a 20 kilometers per hour in and, and then you might break something. It's not like that at all. This baby is set up to be driven. It's set up to compete even, maybe even on a track day. Woo, see? There's really nothing that's holding you back from really wringing everything out from this MX-5's engine. And that's why I love this build. It's got that the show car quality to it, but at the same time, it's perfectly drivable and you can drive it hard any way you want it. <laughs> wow. Awesome, man. This is really awesome. Wow. <laughs> you know, guys, despite the wildness of all the modifications that's been done on this MX-5 RF, it still feels and drives like an MX-5. And that's a great thing because it tells you that the MX-5 RF has great bones to build on any kind of modification that you want from mild to wild. I mean, this MX-5 RF with this Rocket Bunny kit and these awesome custom-made work wheels, they're the stuff that can only be found in a Miata fanboy's wet dreams. It's a great combination of a show car and performance driving, and I have to be very honest, guys, I am actually drooling with envy towards the owner of this car. It's such a fantastic build. Once again, guys, thank you for watching one of my videos. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I feature all types of cars in my channel and I'll make it worth your while if you become a subscriber of Reagan's Rides. Once again, I'm Reagan and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.